What is all the screws? Yeah. <gasps> We don't have another piece. Oh, we had. We don't have another piece. Oh hey guys. In the last video I mentioned how hard it's been to make these videos because our projects are all over the place. So today we're gonna to try something a little bit different and finish one project from start to finish in one video. So we will be tackling this bench. Ta -da! So for the most part, everything in here is framed out how it's supposed to be, except for this section over here of our L-shaped bench. So we're gonna go ahead and build out this other section out here. So that will be our pull out, fold up, bigger bed. Slash couch. Slash couch. All right, so let's get to it. All right guys, step one of our little bench, done. Built this little cube for the L. Woohoo! All right, so just so you can um, kind of understand what we're doing with our bench here, do lots of research, um, kind of combined two different benches that we liked into one. So you can understand this. This is the top section of our bench. So we are going to have a board along the edge, which is going to be this made up of scraps, which is perfectly fine because it serves its purpose. It's fine if it's pieces. So we have the one board along the edge. We're going to go ahead and drill that into our metal tubing. And then we're going to add hinges to the moving section of our bench. So first thing first, secure this one piece along the edge and then we'll continue as we go. Okay. Some soft tappers. Because it's drilling into metal, we're going to use these that have the soft tapping tip. And now, if we follow my little sketch, everything should line up correctly. So we're actually gonna put together this piece out here, fully set up the entire slotted bed that pulls out, and then we'll go ahead and install it with the hinges. So, if my idea works, I mean, we should work because we followed other tutorials, plenty of tutorials on YouTube. So, we're just gonna line them up and space them out and hopefully we cut enough pieces. Yay, she can math. Now we just need to evenly space them with a quarter inch between each one. Before we go any further, we want to make sure that it's actually going to slide out. Ready? Pull. And it's not. So we did something wrong. Why isn't it working? Oh shit, it's just... This is really hard. Really hard. Why is it so hard? Maybe it's too tight. What is? All the screws? Yeah. <gasps> Damn it. We don't have another piece. Oh, we had. We don't have another piece. Totally broke it. Oh, 
after that little mishap, we decided it's not that big of a deal. So we're using wood glue, and everything's gonna be screwed in anyway, so it really doesn't make a huge difference. Yeah, we have to add an extra facing on this end, so we figure if we just, as long as we secure it correctly, it should be fine. That'll be attached to the wall with our hinges. And uh, then we just basic idea. There we go. I don't even know if that's wide enough for our bed. Because mm. it didn't open up that much. We have problems. So my calculations in my head were perfect and this was gonna work. However, I did not calculate for the fact that when I pull this out, this piece in here can only go out so far. Oh yeah, it's broken too. It can only go out so far. It's supposed to be attached, but we already removed it. Can only go that far. Therefore, our bed is tiny. We're losing about what? Five inches here? Four inches? Our bed should be about four inches bigger so that it meets the right size with the owl. But it's not. So we're gonna have to rethink this. So instead, we are going to have to recut some new pieces, start from scratch, do it all over again, and a whole day was wasted. Okay guys, so we had to kind of rethink this whole idea of how our bench was gonna slide out, because when we did it originally, my measurements were slightly off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that we have to take into consideration the length of the L. So our bed has to slide out to meet this edge. But the way we had previously constructed it, it was only pulling out probably about maybe this far, which if you see here, we're missing like six inches. It only pulled out this far because there was wood on this end stopping it from going any further. So we had to uh, eliminate that part. So we kind of have this wobbly bed. Now we're gonna have to figure out some way to fix that part. But by us extending these slats that slide out, we managed to get it to rest on this piece of wood and it basically meets the end over here. So we are gonna probably have to add some kind of um, L bracket at the end to stop it from sliding off. And then on this end, we are gonna have some legs, legs here to hold it up. So it looks like we have a twin size bed or two person bed if they cuddle closely. We are gonna have to sand down the edges because it doesn't slide in smoothly. There are a couple kinks we have to work out, but for the most part, I think we've got it under control. We also need to figure out that section, which will also be a chest style pull up. It doesn't need a slide, so thank God we don't have to mess with that section, but it does need to open. All right guys, we have cut our pieces and now we just need to assemble this top section of the bench and then put the hinge, is hinges, and we're good. trim around all sides. So this side, this side, um, we went ahead and like ripped a two by four. So we want it to look as similar to this. So we are gonna frame up this front side, very similar to this, um, with some legs and this whole section is gonna slide out, except we're making it with two by twos. We didn't wanna have two by two sticking out over here for cosmetic purposes. So we just went with a thinner version that looks very similar.
So guys, we have officially finished our bench slash bed. This is like the first project that we probably complete from start to finish in one video. I know, in one video. It did take multiple days. Um, yes. We thought it would take maybe like two days, but it took like four. Yeah, um, probably like half. We did like a lot of half, half days. Day. Yeah. So if you're going to do it continuously, maybe two solid probably days. two days. Yeah, so we did lots of pieces. But yeah, guys, pretty content with how it turned out. We did have to um, re, re, re plan kind of because my measurements were off in the beginning. Yeah, and it still needs a little bit of sanding here and there just and so it's really smooth. Like this sticks out a little. So we're going to have to figure out how to fix that. Yeah, we might just leave it. We don't know yet. <laughs> and um, we did do a bunch of like decorative trimmings. Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly what we're going to do yet. For sure, we'll paint the white board um, A to mattified match. Mm -hmm. yeah. white. And we don't know yet what we're going to do with the wood trimmings. If you guys have suggestions, Javier? we're thinking... Huh? Javier wants to do it black. <laughs> I don't know. But if you guys have suggestions, stain it or paint it white or paint it a different color. I'm between staining and painting it white. Javier's about painting it in other colors. I don't know. What do you guys think? Drop us a comment. Let us know what you think. If this was yours. We are going to continue on with um, finishing up these cabinets. So we're going to add cabinets, um, put that wall in, a couple other projects. Hopefully we'll get some stuff done today. But for today, that's yeah. it for the vlog. Yes, and it's coming together, guys. Next video, we should be able to show you guys tons of progress. And then... Hopefully we'll be on the road soon. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. We'll see you in the next one. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to us if you haven't. And hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.